Hello everybody, this is Taika, and in this video I'll be going over a bucket server modification created by Fell, and this is the developer of the plugin. He will be killing the mobs after I create them. So this plugin is called Build a Mob, and I'll be going over the installation and permissions at the end of the video. So getting right into it, our first mob, which is the Blaze. So we have the Blaze here, one, two, and three. So we can set the orange wall, orange, and then the nether brick. And that will create a blaze. That is how this plugin works for almost all the mods. You just build them just like that, and it builds them up to how they need to be, or how Fell designed it to be built. So next we have the cave spider, which is created with two scion wall and a web. So you just put two of the wool like that, set the web, and it creates a cave spider, just like that. And then we have a chicken. Now, the chicken is kind of cool. What you do is you get some snow and some eggs, you set the snow down, and you chuck an egg right at the snow block, and, it, and then it will create a chicken or two. Sometimes it creates two. Alright, now we have the cow. Now with this, you get brown wool and white wool, and you set the brown wool, set the white wool, set the brown wool, and then it will create a cow. And then coming up we have the creeper, which is the green wool and a thing of TNT. Just like this, you just set the green wool two times, set the TNT, and then it will create a creeper, which Fell will fight off. <laughs> okay, then we have the Enderman. And to create an Enderman, you're going to need three obsidian and a end stone. So, obsidian is just one, two, three, and then the end stone, and then that will create the Enderman, which Fell will then continue to destroy. And then we have the Fire Slime. Now this is created with four netherrack, I believe placed on the ground like such. It's one, two, three, and then four. And then it creates a Fire Slime, which I'm surprised I got that correct the first time. And then we have the Ghast. And if I remember this correctly, to create a Ghast, this is the first layer, this is the second layer. So it's as simple as this. Now, I hope this doesn't destroy anything. So you just do a layer like this. You do a layer around. And then <laughs> you put glowstone, and then it creates an awesome ghast, which they'll use butcher on so we don't ruin everything. Then we have the mushroom, which is created the exact same way as the cow, but with orange wool. So then you're going to create it just like that, and it will create a moosh room. Awesome pause. Okay. Next we have the villager. So to create a villager, it's just two wood and some sand. So I'm going to empty this out. Get the stuff for the villager. I'm going to set two of the log and then a piece of sand, and that will create these Squidward-like creatures. And then we have the wolf, which I believe is three light gray wool. So just one, two, three, and it makes a wolf. And one thing I forgot to mess, mess, blah. one thing I forgot to mention is that right here it says you made a wolf, and it does that for every single mob you make. So, yeah. And then we have the dragon, which I will do last. I'm going to start down here, actually. Because if I do the dragon, it will be chaos. But we have a squid, which is pretty cool. You just get fence and blue wool, and you do it just like this. You put two blue wool. You set one, two, three, and then four fence. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, I'll redo it right here real quick. You put wool right there. You go 
four fences around and the last thing you do is set the wool on the top and then it will create the squid so that's how that works next we have a regular spider which is these four just like this it's black red black and cobweb so it's black red black and then cobweb and that makes a spider then we have the slime which is created using four of the lime wools just like the fire slime so it creates a slime like so next we have the skeleton which is created with the light gray wool gray wool and you are gonna have to shoot it so just like this you're going to want to set the light gray wool dark gray wool light gray wool and then you're going to shoot it with an arrow and then that creates a <laughs> that creates a skeleton then we have the silver fish which is made with the stone brick slab and a button so this one's kinda weird you just set the stone slab down and you attempt to set a button on it and then it will create a silverfish and the wolf seems to be <laughs> he domesticated it okay sheep sheep which is made with wool and sand just as simple as this one two and three and then it creates a sheep next we have the pig zombie or the zombie pig man and you make that just like so you get the pink wool and the green wool and set pink green pink and that will create a zombie pig man and then we have the pig which is simple enough as in three pink wool that will create a pig next we have the a slot the a slot which is sandstone wood and sandstone and you do this just like this, sandstone, wood, and then sandstone. And that will create the acelot, which you can then make into a cat if you are awesome. And then the zombie, which is a pretty weird recipe, I actually think. But it's the blue wool, scion wool, and then the melon. So it's simple as blue, scion, and then a melon, and that will make it a zombie. And last but not least, we have the dragon. Now I will once again state that there is permission notes for this, so if you do want this in your server, you don't have to give your players ability to make a dragon, which could be bad if you do. So you're going to want to set obsidian all around just like this, and then pop a gold block in the middle, and then it will create a dragon which will then demolish everything unless if he has it so it can't which actually whatever so that is this plugin it's actually pretty cool there'll be a download link in the description if you happen to be viewing it on the thread congratulations you are in the correct place installing it is as simple as dragging the plugin into the plugins folder and reloading your server there will be a config soon but there is permission notes like I've stated about three times in the video which is just build a mob dot and then the mob name. So that's about it. I hope you have a good day and goodbye. When.